Okay, let's look at the next nomination video. This is Amanda. Hello, I'm Amanda and I'd love to nominate my daughter Lauren for a Pixie Woo makeover. She's a huge fan and she watches them constantly. She's written a bucket list and having a Pixie Woo makeover is one of her wishes, so she's going to be in for a pleasant surprise. Can't wait and thank you very much. Oh, oh that's cute. Thanks, Amanda. Awesome. Well, it's my turn. Yep. So I will get to do this one. She didn't give much away. She didn't. She but, uh, yeah, that's exciting. Still almost more exciting, so I don't know what to expect. Okay, shall we go off? Yeah, let's go. Hide. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hello there. Hi. I'm Nick, so lovely oh, to nice meet you. Hi, yeah. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, yeah. Nice to meet you. Oh, you look alike, don't you? <laughs> so. Very much so. Very much so. <laughs> let's right. go around the other side so that we're not in the way. So, what did your mum tell you you were having? Oh, have come today? to a spa day. I love that, <laughs> oh, a spa day. Well, I am going to do your makeover today. Mm. Um, you studied makeup or you're doing I'm, something? I'm going to an open day tomorrow. Oh, exciting. <laughs> so you can ask me lots of questions and uh, we'll get started, shall no, we? Right, thank you. I'm going to nip you out. Yep, lovely, thank you. Off we go. So what are you thinking next? Well, Lauren likes a lot of makeup, but done lovely. Um, she loves Kim Kardashian, loves lots of lashes, like two pairs of lashes at once. So we're going to go all out today, I think, which so I a bit love. Like I love. A polished the only way is Essex. Yeah, right? yeah, and and you you have a little bit of a complex about your skin, mm. and you're trying to find something nice to use. I think skin base will sit beautifully on your skin, so we're going to use that. Okay, what can I get for you? I'm going to moisturise first, if okay. you don't mind. So a little bit of moisturiser, but I can grab that myself. I'm just going to softly buff this over the skin to start off with. It's also going to allow my foundation to slip a little bit. Perfect. Uh, skin base, please, Sam. What colour, Nix? Is that six? About about six. Yep. Let's give six a try and see. It's quite yellow, six, you might want to... Oh, if you've got something slightly try pinker it. as well. Have a look at that, that's eight. Is that, that better? should be about yeah. that, yeah. I'm going to use the same brush. So where uh, Lauren faked hands, obviously her neck is slightly darker than her face, so Nick is using a slightly darker foundation just to match into that. And I think that that's something that you will find if you do fake tan, um, unless you're going to wear no makeup, there's not really an awful lot of point in fake tanning your face, really, because you're just going to cover it with makeup. I think this is about a perfect colour, actually. Do you do much with your eyebrows normally, Laura? Yeah, I normally make them really full and longer. OK. So I pluck them a bit too much. Oh, we've all been there and done that. I think I'm going to move on to the eyes and then come back and conceal at the end so we allow that foundation to really work into the skin. Can I have a paint pot, Sam? Yeah, you want it in brown? Yes, please. And a synthetic brush, I think, for this. Yeah, that'll do lovely. OK. I might need a 217 as well to sure. be blending this. And the fact that it's a paint pot means that it will hold in place really nicely. Nick is using this paint pot from MAC. It's called Constructivist. And she's popping that on with a synthetic brush and then blending with a real hairbrush. You might notice that Nick hasn't yet filled in Lauren's brows and sometimes what we want to do is find out what shape we're going to do with the eyes first. I think probably Nick is thinking she doesn't know how dark she's going to go so she doesn't want to plot the brows in at the beginning and then have, have them competing against each other. So the chances are if she goes very, very dark on the eyes she might go a little bit lighter on the brows. Right, so I might run a tiny bit of eyeshadow over the top. That, um, yeah. yeah, that looks nice. Um, Mac. Day Gleam Pressed Pigments. Just glaze on me. So you swapped to your um, to your natural fibre brush to yeah. apply that because it's powder. I actually really liked the colour of the eyeshadow on its own, but I just wanted something to seal it all in place. Okay, so Quite sparkly, aren't they? Yeah, they're very, very sparkly, but not, not much colour. No. So they're probably ideal to seal a paint pot because they don't really change what's underneath. Sam, can I have a Prunella eye pencil? 
please. And can I also have a 239? Just going to really softly pop this along the lash line and then buff it in. So this bit doesn't have to be done super tidy because it's going to be buffed in anyway. And if you find that the pencil doesn't blend very well, check that it's a coal. And if you're still finding that it's not blending very well, then warm it up a little bit on your hand first. Right, Sam, can I have a... 266 in a really dark kind of plummy aubergine tone if you've got one. Shadowy lady. Okay. that do? Yeah, it's perfect. This is a great colour but it has so much fall down, guys, so be very, very careful. Do you want a shadow shield? Yeah, that would be great, actually. These cool little things are called shadow shields and you just peel off this little sticker on the top here and then, if I give that to Nick, She's going to place that under the eye right up for me. and it creates a lovely little shelf. And just close for me. And open for me. I want a little bit of definition through the lash line but I don't really want to go black which is why I've chosen to use a dark aubergine. Look down to the left for me Lauren. You might wonder why we ask our models to look down to the left or look down to the right and the reason that we do that is because when you look away it stretches the skin on the inside corner so it means that it's much easier for us to get a nice precise crisp line. Does that feel okay? I'm going to take a little bit under the eye, Sam, can I have a concealer first? Probably sure. what do you want? MAC uh, Studio Finish in about an NW20 I think. Now I'm putting this on first because I don't want the eyeliner right the way under the eye so I'm going to conceal it first to make it a bit easier so that there's not a pinkness there and I don't have to go in afterwards. If you look right up for me. So I just wanted to get right in this very corner so it's nice and clean for when I do the liner. Lovely. I'm then going to take my prunella and if you look right up for me, you're going to take that right inside the eye. Now you normally use black, don't you? Mm -hmm. Do you ever use, have you ever used a different colour to black? Oh, so it'd be interesting for you. I'm just going to take a little bit more of the shadowy lady and if you look right up for me, I'm going to take that to the outer corner. Be careful with this because it does have fall down. So softly dabbing that make that outside a little bit fuller. Yeah, if I can have a tiny bit of Villa that. Villa Masca powder blush. I just blush. want to pop that. If you, I sometimes feel with a smoky eye, it just needs a little warmth. And open for me. Yeah, that's a bit better. Okay, I'm just going to shape the brows slightly. Now I know that brows are a big thing for you, so I'm going to shape them probably a bit more than I would normally because I want to do them how you're used to them as well. Okay, time for some powder. We didn't have the right colour so Sam has given me two powders which I'm going to mix together. But if you watched, um, if you watched some of our other videos on here, you'll notice that we quite often mix the two powders and it's a nice way to do it because you can use a lighter one in areas you want to highlight and a darker one in areas you want to kind of push back a little bit and this is just going to seal this makeup into place nicely. Okay Sam, lashes for me. I've chosen, these are Ilia uh, evening wear lashes, Ooh. that one's glued, ready to go. Thank you very much. And that's much. your right eye Nick. Lovely, just keep your eyes shut for me for a second. And just open for me. Oh, gorgeous. Should have a little bit of rumour, a little yep. bit of colour on the cheeks, and sure. then as we've already Illamasca rumour. As we've already used rumour. Thank you, you very much. Do you contour? I try to, but I can't. Ah. <laughs> but you try, so you like it. At and least. then what do you want on the apple of the cheek, Nix? Something peachy. Okay. Ish. So 
Oh, I'll just Peachy take that down the back of the cheekbone. Smells oh, nice, that powder. It actually does. I can't smell it because I've got such a cold, but it does. Um, they smell almost like sweet, like, yeah. don't they? That's like the bourgeois bonza. Yes. Lovely. And then a little bit of peaches. And I'm going to use the same brush. If you just smile for me. Lovely. Just want them on the apples. Beautiful. Ooh, okay, beautiful. here's some lip glosses I've chosen for you. Thank you. So this is Butter London Lippy. It doesn't appear to have a name on it though, which is a little bit annoying. It's obviously fallen off. Your lips are still a tiny bit dry. Now, great thing to do if you've got dry lips, get yourself an old toothbrush and loads of Vaseline or something quite moisturising, whack it on, give them a brush over and it will get rid of all that. You can mix a bit of sugar with some oil and just rub that over as well. That'll do the job. A little exfoliate. And I think... Oh, scar on the bottom lashes. Oh, OK. Ah! What do you want? Any mascara? Oh, same one we had. I can't believe I nearly forgot to mascara your bottom lashes. Just lit right up for me. Well, that makes some difference, doesn't it? Goodness me. Nice and long and thick. Gorgeous. I think we're pretty much done there. You look beautiful. Look at you. Gorgeous. Isn't she done a great see. job with the hair? That is gorgeous. That's so lovely. Yeah, what a great job. Should we turn you around so you can see? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Shall I do this? Yeah. Oh, I love it. Do you like it? Yeah. Ah. I get more nervous than What do you else. like? I love the eyes. Do you like the brows? Yeah. I know, I'm mental about brows, but on everyone I'm like, do you like the brows? It looks really, really lovely. I wish lovely. you could see the back. Have you, have you seen the back? No, you probably haven't. There's a lovely pack that goes all the way around. Oh. I'll show you that in a second. That is gorgeous. Oh, you look so lovely. Your skin looks really nice as well. Yeah. And it stayed during the hot filming, so yeah. I'm really pleased about that. Shall, Shall we, we get call your mum, your mum in? in? <gasps> Are you going to cry? Amanda! She might. Come on, on in. in. <gasps> oh, it looks really lovely. I love it. She looks oh, gorgeous, doesn't she? she looks nice. Oh, oh what a lovely mum. It looks really classy, hair. doesn't but it? She looks lovely. We wanted to gorgeous, go for a smoky look yeah. still, yeah. but um, oh, I love it. She really, looks beautiful. Really Her skin nice. looks really glowing as well. It doesn't does, it? doesn't it? I love oh. your hair like that. I really do. Oh, oh please. please, we've got the seal of approval from mum. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's always. Oh. Yeah, no. <laughs> you know, mums always want hair scraped back yeah, off the yeah. face, no, no makeup. Or no. well, our mum does. <laughs> but, uh... So if you want to nominate someone to take part in Style Me Beautiful, all you have to do is email contact at dailymix.tv. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Nice to see you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. <laughs> I am ready, sister. Okay, so this is a Louise Young LY24A. It is the tiniest little brush, so it's brilliant for drawing individual hairs on. Nick's using two different eyeshadow colours to create a bit of kind of um, a little bit of difference between the brows.